Hey guys, New Friendly Productions here, um, and I'm gonna tell you how to make your XP look like a Mac. Um, really easy. I think it's just two program. No, it's just one program. And yeah. So first, what you want to do, this just to get out of the way, drag your, just click on your uh, taskbar and bring it up to the top. Easy as that. That's it. Now you um want to go to your internet browser. Oh, I already have one up. And you want to go to rocket.com. Sorry if I said that bad. <laughs> but um click on the download and click on the latest version and download it. Then after you go to get add-ons and just search Happy Mac OS. I think that's what it is. No. Alright. Dang it. Alright, just search uh Mac OS maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Upward. No, I didn't even find Alright, whatever. I'll just go to skins. Um I think it's on the third page, the one I need. Don't go with this one, it's not as good as the one you had before. I mean, eh. Alright, here we go. Mac OS Leopard Skin. Yeah, it's Mac OS X Leopard Skin. Right now, it is on the fourth page. It has, uh, um, the picture is of a is the thing the grass and a black start menu and that's um that's the picture but um so yeah that's the preview and everything you can just double click on that but um so you just download the file save it uh extract it to to wherever you want now you're gonna have to have WinZip for this, but whatever. Okay. Extract. I'll just extract it to um, my desktop, I guess. So once you have that, you um want to start up rocket doc you you could have did that anyway before I think it starts up on the top but um look like mine starting up on the bottom because mine was I just closed mine at I, I didn't just download it but um okay so you have your little folder you go to your my computer and that's good because they have a my computer icon too in there which you can remove if you don't use it a lot but whatever you go to um, program files then you want to find rocket doc of course under the R's um, here we go and you want to go to skins then you just want to take your skin that you had before which is the happy mac os leopard one and then you just go and drag it in but i already have it so i'll just override it i guess whatever or i guess it's not even doing that maybe it dragged it in there well, I don't know, whatever. So, once, once you drag it in there, you right click, um, dock settings, and, uh, under style, you, you, you just, uh, try to find Happy Mac OS Leopard. I mean, Happy Mac Leopard OS X. And click it, and click OK. Then you have this. So, one more thing, I mean, no, uh, two more things 
I have a link in the description, but I'll just show you. You want to go to Deviant Art, then in Deviant Art, you want to uh, search Smooth Stripes. Oh, I hate Deviant Art whenever it does that. Stripes. God. Hold up. Four. Alright, here we go. Smooth Stripes 4. And I'll have the link in the description for you. Don't have to do that. You just want to, um, download it, extract it to where you want. Um, I just, I'm not going to download it again because there's no reason to. But, uh, I extracted it in this, in my documents. Smooth right four, as you can see right there. Double click on it. And then you want to do the one without the wind flag on it. The wind flag isn't the good one. Just click on, double click on this. Hold up a second for it loads up, and you should see this. Um, just apply. Wait a couple seconds. Um, so yeah, wait. And there you go. So now it's starting to look like Mac, as you can see. And um, I have a couple other uh, color schemes like the blue one that was the panther one that I had before the most used one but whatever it doesn't really matter uh, I guess they have panther graphite nah panther blue oh it doesn't matter whatever so yeah so that's kinda like a Mac last thing you need is either you need to search on Google or um, ask which I don't recommend go to images and search Mac OS X wall paper so you should find a good couple this is the one I like the most the grass but um, I'll just do the little Aurora one just for you can see the uh, pink aurora. I don't know why, but so you get that save image. Eh, save image as I have a wallpaper, a section. Is it the PNG file? Eh. All right, whatever. Okay, um, space desktop, I guess. No, I don't want to open it because that would bring up Adobe Fireworks. So just go to your properties, desktop, browse, go to where you saved it. There we go. Hopefully, it loads up. Yep. And we got it. So there you go. That is how to make your XP look like Mac. So yeah. Um, still has the Windows start menu. But I, I think you could like go get a program on the internet to change that. But yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah. Goodbye.